With the idea of the Eleanor Glanville Centre being created in 2012, this exhibition has been years in the making. In order to try and gain recognition and support for the centre, the exhibition will be held all day at the Stephen Langton building for anyone to attend, with guest speakers, films and book readings being held that they believe best represent what the centre stands for and will be the most informative for those unaware of these issues. Concerned for what she believes is a lack of awareness on these sensitive topics, the director of the EGC, it's hopeful this event will inspire more people to become interested in issues surrounding sexuality and ethnicity. Across the whole of Europe, there have been uh, lots of biased um, choices um, that, have, that have happened, that have led, I mean, it started with science. There's um, a huge underrepresentation of, of women in science across Europe. Um, so there's nothing wrong with Lincoln, we're the same as the rest of Europe, but there, there are problems that need to be addressed, um, and this is what we're trying to do. This centre was named after Eleanor Glanville, and for very good reason. Not only was she a 17th century entomologist, she was also the very first woman to be recognised by the British National History. And events such as these behind me help honour that memory. And with an expected turnout of between 100 and 120 people coming to visit, it seems this honouring of her memory will be a success. Thomas Barley, LSJ News.